welcome back. I am going to try to make this quick. Uh, I finally went grocery shopping for all the things that I love to get me back on track. So you already saw that I did a big low carb tortilla haul from Anchorage. So now today at the grocery store, I went both to the food cache, our little mini Costco and to the regular Safeway grocery store. So I picked up all kinds of goodies. I've got big bags of broccoli. I've got big bags of Brussels sprouts, a big giant thing of hamburger patties, lots of cheese, of course, heavy cream, olives, got some parchment paper because I was low, chicken tenders, and I also got the Kirkland brand grass-fed butter. I have not tried this yet. Um, so I'm going to try it now. A nice little bag of ripe avocados, so I'm really excited about this. More cheese. Uh, ranch dressing. And then olive oil spray. I'm uh, Not olive oil. Avocado spray. Avocado oil. Let's see what else do I got here. So, oh, and I'm, I decided to try these. I don't, I don't know if anybody else has tried there. They're by um, High Key... Almond crackers, it is supposed to be one net carb for 15 pieces. So, I thought I'd give these a try. You know, as a little crunchy treat. I like to do little, like a cheese and meat boards and stuff, so that might be a nice little thing to go with it. Oh, and I found this is my new favorite sugar, is the Volupta Erythritol and Monk Fruit Blend. Uh, I got turned on to this when I was in Wisconsin, so that is, I found it, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> uh, so from the grocery store, I got Parmesan cheese sour cream, we got the cream cheese, we got uh, pork rinds, I got sunflower seeds, we got the veggies, uh, cabbage, onion, more Brussels sprouts, carrots, green onion, spaghetti squash, cucumbers, I got... A bunch of salad greens so I'm gonna be chopping that up and getting that all ready because I love to have salads salads are very very easy go-to's for me that are very filling I can eat a lot of it without feeling you know like I ate a bunch of bad food so and then for some treats I don't buy pork meat very often but I got some boneless pork country style ribs for barbecue and then I got some bone-in country style ribs for a uh, I'm going to make some chili verde with this. And then I got a big five dozen pack of eggs. I'm going to try out this G Hughes sugar free barbecue sauce. It is only two net carbs per serving. So hopefully, actually it says two carbs per serving. So that that's even better. Yeah. So because there's no fiber in it. So yeah, two carbs per serving, which is better than the other ones that were sugar free. They were like still five carbs. So I don't know what that's about but <laughs> oh and I like to put beets in my salad so I got some sliced beets so got all the salad things I like all the veggies I like avocado eggs um, I already have a bunch of mozzarella cheese in my freezer so you know the only thing I forgot was I was gonna get egg whites for making chaffles but you know I could just use eggs so that's fine that's my grocery haul so now we gotta get putting all this stuff away I still have to do my workout today. <laughs> it's already late in the afternoon, but it's just been busy morning, go, go, go. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna put this away, get my workout done, and I will see you next time. I'm eating something, cooking something, doing something delicious with this low carb food. All right, we'll see y'all later. salad prep hopefully it'll last a couple of days and yeah so but that's what's for dinner tonight I also made for my husband's lunches some chili verde with cabbage in it I couldn't think of what it was here I'll show you salad 
out of the way. I gotta give this a stir anyways. Whew. Hot. That's not the spoon. And so, there we go. Chili verde. And it's got cabbage in it. So yeah, that's for his lunches. I'm, like, I'm all wonky. There we go. That's for his lunches. I think that's done. I'm gonna turn that off. So. Hey my friends, how you doing today? Um, it is the middle of the week and I'm just getting to my workout. It's, you know, middle of the day, late morning. I am just, I'm struggling here. Every day to get a workout in is super hard. Um, well, every day. I just started on Monday, so today's day three. Today's ab day. I pulled a muscle in somewhere in my area here between here and my back and my neck. I pulled something because it hurts from here to my neck to my back, all of it. It's all hurting. So I'm going to do a standing ab workout today because I cannot, the ab workout, um, the program I'm doing is, I can't tell if I'm dark or not. I'm sorry if I'm dark. I'm trying to find the, the workout um, on YouTube. but. The, stand, the regular ab workout that I do in the program that I'm doing is a lot of plank work. And with the, how much this shoulder, front and back, chest, neck is, I uh, know I'm not doing planks today. It's just not gonna happen. So I'm gonna do a standing ab workout by uh, Kyra Pro, I think is her name. I love her. She just does all this fun dancey stuff. I'm struggling though to get it done. Like I got Monday done, I got yesterday done, today. I'm getting it done. Yesterday was super hard to try to just push play and just get the workout done. I, I like put it on and then procrastinated for about a half an hour before I actually started doing it. Not totally sure. My brain is just not, not getting it back yet. Like this, I'm battling, I don't know, these emotions, you know, kind of like maybe a depression. I don't know, just battling right now, but I'm, changing my eating back to normal. So I'm, you know, you saw, you know, the salad, I made huge stuff for salads. So I got lots of salad prep in the, in the fridge. See, I can't even think straight right now. Probably doesn't help that I'm trying to find this and I may have passed it already. Maybe I should just search for it. That'd probably be faster. Okay. The point is, is even though I'm going through my mental stuff and family stuff and I'm trying to, you know, just rein in my emotions and my anxiety and why is this not, I don't know. Sorry, it's so dark. Like maybe I should turn a light on. I don't know. I'm going to work out real quick. Um, yeah, so I'm still getting it done. So I'm still going to do this workout. I have a uh, pain in my chest and my back and my neck and it's because I pulled something yesterday, but I'm still going to do this workout. Um, yeah, you know, there's, I can't have an excuse anymore. I need to get this done. So I'm eating good. This morning I made a really yummy breakfast, chili verde with cabbage in it, and it had some poached eggs and avocado, and I made chaffles. So it was super delicious, super filling. And yeah, so getting my eating back on point, getting the veg in, getting the yumminess in. So all the things that I'm supposed to be doing, I'm still gonna do this workout, even though if all I do is get a workout in and eat fairly decently, if my kitchen's going to stay a mess for a while, oh well, then it's going to stay a mess for a while. Um, I'm kind of rotating on that a little bit. It's like I can't really keep up, but I'm barely keeping up. Like I'll do the dishes later on after the fact, but then the next day it's like still piled in dishes. So right now my kitchen is like just covered in last night's dinner dishes. So I'm going to do those dishes just so that the kitchen is clean so that I could cook again tonight. And who knows, maybe I'll feel good enough that I can actually get the dishes done tonight. I don't know, I'm taking it moment by moment, minute to minute. All I know is that I've had my morning stuff, I ate earlier, I had my coffee. Um, you know, I, I did some, some things that I needed to get done and now it's time to work out before it gets any later in the day and I just, you know, say, forget it, I'm not doing it. So she's about ready to get started, so I'm gonna get on that.
Hey friends, good morning. It is Thursday and I'm going to end up my vlog here, but with me making my breakfast, I have uh, some bacon here and a hamburger patty. So I'm gonna have a bacon cheeseburger. And this is uh, those little Costco uh, Brussels sprouts with bacon and onion. So I'm gonna make a bag of this. So we're gonna have a cheeseburger with that. And then also, for my bun, oh sorry, it's getting dark. Come on, like on this side. For my bun, I am going to make a chaffle. So, yeah, here we go. I got my cheese, my egg, my seasonings, my almond flour. So there we go. A chaffle bacon cheeseburger with Brussels sprouts for breakfast today. And uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna eat. Thank you so much for watching this video, friends. I truly appreciate it. It has been a really tough few weeks and I appreciate you all being here to help get me through this. And we will get right into the weekend after this. So because today is Thursday, we're gonna finish this meal and then we're gonna get all the work done so that you can watch this video and we'll get on with the rest of it. So anyways, everyone have a great weekend and I will see you all in the next video. Take care, bye.